Hi friends, today I have a little project that I thought was really cool. Um, I had some tea bags, I had some tea and I'm still drinking tea and drying my tea bags and um, I just have a few up right now. And I cut the tea, once they're dry, I cut the tea out of them. Like I got a little chunk on this one here. And then I, um, I thought, well I saw some tea art, tea bag art, and I thought that would be a really cool thing to try. Um, so these ones are the raspberries or the mixed berries. So that's why they're um, a tinge of red. And then when I put them on my drying rack, this is the neat texture color, visual texture I got from them. I like it. So, um, and this is another type of tea here. And um, I just cut the bag open the bottom and decided to open it that way so I can um, decorate. So you can paint these, you can um, just stamp them. Um, today I think I just have a few out so I'm just going to, I thought I would just stamp them up and then maybe you can water, um, use acrylic. I think I was going to use acrylic on them and we'll see how it goes. So I have a few, uh, I have my archival ink, I have a few different types of tea and and trees and you guys you can do just any design you want with these and I thought it would be a really cool little project to start and do a little tea bag collection um so I'm just going to ink up my archival ink and put it down on ah, this one right here um in fact actually I might even just before I put my oh no I'll do that I was gonna actually maybe maybe I will stain the back a little bit here um, with some inks so I have a tango color and I have a taken the teal and this is water-based um, so I thought well I'm not just gonna kind of stain it a bit with this see how that works and just kind of dab my makeup brush on there and dab a little bit of color for the background you guys can spray them whatever I just thought this would make it uh, a little faster for me to spread the color and a little drier so that's why I'm doing it this way so you got a little bit of a nice tinge of ground there I thought and I'm just gonna flip this one over because I don't know how many colors what I'm going to do and I'm gonna flip this one over oh and hopefully that focus will come back on. So this is a tangerine and just like a little bit of a tangerine sky happening there. You know fall colors. And I'm just going to go like that. And maybe even do a little bit more of the taking with teal. But just a little lighter on the top. Just like that. Make it look really like a fall. Oh, that one came apart. I wanted to keep it together. Well, it came apart, but not a big deal. So I'll just put that up. So now I'm just going to take my trees here. I had this one together, and it was a, like a, my teapot, and I had two teas together. But that's okay. And usually I have something behind it, and I didn't do that. So hopefully this stamps really well. I'm just going to push lots. I um, like to have a little piece of something back there, foam or a pad, which that's the reason why it's not such a clear um, image. So now I stuck it onto the pad, which I should have done before. <laughs> but I just went and looked in the box. I'm like, oh, I hope I can find it. And yes, I did. So I'm just going to redo this one. And that's OK. That's OK. That's a little. Watch my, watch my wrist as I do that. No, it's okay. That's a little um, see now you'll have a better print, and that'll look like more trees because I have trees in the background. So there we go. That is pretty. Then I'm gonna grab another tree.
and maybe stick it a little bit forward here. So I'm, I stand up when I stamp usually because then I get the full, I get see better and I get more of a press impression. There is my tree that's kind of forward there. See that evergreen? And I can do the other one on the other side. And give them a nice, so you can see the impression even in here, but it'll rub off. And that one's a little on off, but that's okay. That's okay. So that one's done, I think. So you can do like uh, little stamped images make a little scenery on these. I don't know why, it's just so cute. So I thought it would be a really cute project to start and maybe have a little um, a collection of these and that they also would be a very good swap so I'm gonna do that as well, make them into a swap. So your tea bag impression or tea bag art swap. It's very nice and light and very cute and I think we can make little art book and put them in there and like the little sizes and bind them together I think it would be really really cute so let's see what else I can do here <clears throat> here's another one now this one I cut down the bottom so I can do both sides or I could just do the one side I do feel like there's there is a, a crease here excuse me so I might have to struggle but I'm going to unfold the bottom too because it kind of is folded up. I can refix that if I want to make it look more realistic. So I'm going to grab, you can just draw and paint on them too and doodle, which will be really great. Flower doodles. But I'm just using um, stamps today for, you know, because I feel like it, showing you guys with the stamps. But I'm going to stamp up a tea set and then you can grab a block if I can find one that's not too dirty. Don't know. Stamping block. So I got tea cups here. And I'm just gonna stamp that on there. And there's the tea cups. And I can color them out and whoops, see more tea. More tea. On the other side, I'll just do the teapot or maybe one teacup. I will do one teacup and maybe the tea bag. We'll see how it goes. And then I will do the tea bag. Oh, that one doesn't want to stick. And there we go. And then you could just use marker or you can use paints to color them up. So that's that one. Isn't that cute? This one's a little on the light side. I'm not sure if it was because the tea was in there. I am do have to replace my art gravel or add some ink to it. So it could be just a hit or a bit of a dry patch on there. I don't know. And I'm just going to use my pen here to do the white. I thought that'd be easiest. Of the tea cup and the saucers. And then you guys could just do whatever you feel you want to do. This one's got like, maybe I don't have enough light on this angle to for you guys to see. There we go. That could be helpful. More light. Uh, 
I think I'll just go over the flowers and I could even just do my own doodle on there or stamp again. There you go. Just to give you an example of that. So cute. That, that choice of color probably wasn't the best. Gold didn't show well. But you can do with your just your regular markers or whatever you guys wish and have lots of fun with it. So, and play. So that's that one. I could have, I probably have to go over those tea cups. And let's see what I'm gonna do next. So a couple more. This one I'm just gonna do a candle uh, candles lights. If I can't say it properly, you know what I'm talking about. Candle light, whatever. It's one of those words, tongue twister for me. There we go. Oh, he's cute. And my last one I was thinking, because it's kind of got that nice sky with that spooky almost. I thought so with the marks from my rack. And then I like this poppy, so I'm hoping to get the bottle, maybe a little bit of the bottle in the poppy. Hopefully I got ink on there well. I'm going to have to re-ink my bed. There we go. It's better than I thought there for that one. But I like it. Isn't that cute? So I can add some red to that, which will make it just pop. Let's see here. I have my watercolor. Um, and you know what, guys? I can't find my um, water brush. I don't know, I had it. Could be just tucked in somewhere and I'm totally blind. Probably is because I did have it. So I'm just going to grab some water on my little paintbrush here and I'm just going to go on my crayon. Really load up my brush and just go for it and try to fill in some nice red for my poppy. I'm not going to soak my tea bags, I'm just going to go. So you can do watercolor on here, um, you know, as long as it's not soaking. I think soaking will kind of make it harder to work with on the tea bag because tea bags are very easily wet and absorb very quickly the water but this is looking really pretty and add a little more water and also too I think it would rub very easily a hole through the tea bag it's very delicate I'm going to clean that off and I'm just going to add a little bit of dark green too much water Load up my brush again. Don't want it soaked. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm just going to do the bottle a little bit of a brown color. Nice. 
just a nice brown not a red brown just a nice brown I think like I don't know like this I always like to paint with the grain too now I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit more with the design of whatever I'm doing and grabbing a little bit just in case I have too much there pull it off works just as fine just the same as paper but a little bit more it's a little more absorbent isn't that cute so that's that one and it didn't even go through so I wasn't soaking it too much so we can even do the other side if you wish so this is it I hope you guys have fun with it and play with little tea bags you can do like I said doodles um just do zing tangle and that kind of thing would be really cool too I just did a few stamped images just to show and you can do some drawing and that kind of thing too and painting so um, see I'm going to tuck this back under like that because it normally folds under anyway normally folds kind of under So cute, very cute, and and then my little scenery. So there you go, guys. Hope you have fun with it. Give it a try. Arting up some tea bags, and um, I'm thinking we can do a little swap with them as well. I uh, okay. Don't forget to craft like a duck, and talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.